Landon, when you guys are trying to establish a cohesiveness on the offensive line, how difficult is it, I guess especially late in the season when you're swapping parts in and out in the middle of the game and everything? I don't know it's next man up, but how difficult is it? It, it definitely has a, a difficulty to it. And, you know, we saw that last year as well. You know, we had so many different offensive line sort of uh, movements that we did throughout the whole season. And so, um, you know, I think we got a taste of that last year. So we're more used to it this year. Uh, but it does make it a little, a little more difficult, especially when you don't know who's playing next to you. Um, but that's why we try to do so many different rotations and practice, make sure that we're getting reps with everybody so that when we do get that next man up, that we have a, had a chance in the week prior to play next to everyone that could be at that position. Now, when you're playing against an, a defensive line like this, and especially a guy like Aaron Donald, how much trouble or how troublesome can it be? Uh, it can be troublesome, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we have to trust the man next to us no matter what. Um, whether you're the third in line, whether you're the fifth in line, or whether you just came into the program today, we expect you to be able to go out there and do everything you can within yourself and your knowledge and your ability to be able to play, uh, to be able to do whatever you can against those players, no matter if it's Aaron Donald or who it is. Um, so I definitely think that everyone on this line has has trust and whoever's put in that position to be able to do what they need to do. How do you guys get back to establishing the run the way you want to? Is it just a matter of, you know, I guess down and distance and making sure that you stay in favorable positions in that in that regard? Definitely. We definitely got to uh, focus on our first and second down efficiency. We got to stay ahead of the chains. We can't get in those third and long uh, positions. We got to be able to make uh, – make do with whatever we can on those first two downs to make sure that we're staying in those short, third and short, or if we even have to go to third down, that, that'd be favorable for any <laughs> offensive lineman, but uh, make sure that we're staying in those uh, third and short situations if we do get down to third down.